It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm, I'm Colin Jost. <laughs> the Wall Street Journal is calling on Russia to release one of their journalists who was arrested on espionage charges, and I might have the perfect idea for a prisoner swap. Oh. <laughs> Former President Trump was arraigned on Tuesday, and a photographer released this photo of Trump in the courtroom, and I don't like that he's flanked by an OJ amount of lawyers. <laughs> because that tells me he's definitely guilty and that he's definitely getting away with it. <laughs> Trump's lawyer, Joe Takapina, a.k.a. Phony Soprano, <laughs> said, said that he doesn't think Trump is going to get a fair trial in Manhattan, and I agree. I mean, even the courtroom sketch artist seems to hate him. <laughs> when he showed up, I thought he looked perfectly nice. He had blended his foundation. He had <laughs> stapled down his hair, but the guy still drew him like the mud monster from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> After his arraignment, Donald Trump spoke to supporters at Mar-a-Lago and said there was a very dark cloud over our beloved country, which is also what he used to call Obama. <laughs> Insiders are saying that <laughs> since Donald Trump's indictment, his daughter Ivanka has been absent, and his other daughter Tiffany is trying to take her place by his side just as soon as she gets through security. <laughs> Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, seen here shouting, Jump, you coward! <laughs> visited, <laughs> visited New York to protest the arrest of Donald Trump and called the city filthy, disgusting, and repulsive. But as a New Yorker, let me just say, you forgot rat infested. <laughs> Don't ever forget our rats. <laughs> A new report claims that for decades, Clarence Thomas and his wife went on luxury trips paid for by Republican mega-donor and whitest guy with the blackest name, Harlan Crow. <laughs> <laughs> Justice Thomas accepted the free trips the same way he approaches working on the Supreme Court, with no questions asked. <laughs> It was also revealed today that Harlan Crow has a vast collection of Nazi memorabilia, including a copy of Mein Kampf signed by Hitler. Worse, the signature reads, Dear Harlan, big fan. <laughs> Tennessee Republicans expelled two black lawmakers for protesting gun violence, but did not expel a white lawmaker who protested with them. Republicans said they know what it looks like, but they were actually expelled because their skin is black. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who always looks like someone told him to go home and get his shine box, <laughs> signed a bill that allows Florida residents to carry concealed guns without a permit because Florida is dangerous and you just never know when someone is going to run up to you and say gay. <laughs> President Biden called King Charles this week to tell him that First Lady Jill Biden will attend his coronation, along with her plus one, the Iowa women's basketball team. <laughs> King Charles said that researchers will be given access to royal archives after it was discovered that his ancestors had shares in a slave trading company. Yeah, it was called England. 